Hello, my name is Sneaky, and uh, I've noticed you guys are trying to create databases for your Minecraft server. So um, here I am today, showing you how to create a database for your Minecraft server. Doesn't matter what version it is, it should usually be the same. But um, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up a database on Sneaky Hub. So first things first, you navigate to the panel. Uh, I've already created a uh, testing server, so this would usually be your Minecraft server. So I'll go into my server I've created called Minecraft YouTube Testing. And because this is the first time I'm starting my server, I'm going to navigate to console and I'm going to click start. It's going to prompt me asking uh, what Java version I'd like to use. Java 8 is usually for uh, Minecraft 1.8 or below but I want to use the latest version of Minecraft so I want to use Java 17 and uh, once I've selected Java 17 I'll click update docker image we'll then try and start the server it will um, tell you the Java version and it will also try and download the latest version of Minecraft and we give it a minute it should go through download the latest jar and um, apply the patches to get the latest uh, paper 1.19.2 version or whatever the latest version is when you're watching the video. Um, after a little bit of time it will ask you to accept the EULA. If you read it, there's well if you would like to read it there is a hyperlink here that you can click and it will take you to the uh, Minecraft EULA webpage. Um, you are free to read that if you want. Uh, well, I'll just click accept. And then it should go through and start the server. Usually it starts the server uh, from a fresh start around 11 seconds uh, once I've clicked click start. Oh, there you go. 11.793 seconds. Um, so I'm going to quickly stop the server real quick. I'm going to head over to files and the plugin I'm going to use to test the database with is uh, luck perms. So I'm going to navigate to my plugins folder. Now on my other screen I'm going to grab the luck perms plugin. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. So as you can see it's now in slash home slash container slash plugins. It's luck perms bucket 5.4.4.6 sorry 5.4.46.jar I'm going to go back to the console page I'm going to start the server like normal now one thing that people need to realize is sneaky hub is a development community like this is for developing your minecraft server your discord bar your plugins Whatever you want to develop, it's not meant to be running full-scale production machines, like production servers. You could probably get away with running a Discord bot uh, as a production service, but um, it's not really advised at the moment to be running production servers on Sneaky Hub, because this community was made primarily for development projects. Um, with that being said, uh, some load times may be slightly slower so when it tries to connect to the MariaDB uh, database it may have a couple of issues initially trying to connect or it may be a bit slow depending on how many people are constantly trying to read and write to the database um, so um, yeah uh, moving on uh, if we were to head over to the databases tab uh, I'm going to control click so it opens in another tab. I'm going to stop the server and I'm going to navigate to uh, files, plugins, and as you can see, it's generated a luck perms folder. I'm going to then go into config.yml and setting up this plugin is fairly easy because it has some nice documentation within the config file. Uh, I'm using MariaDB, which it says here. I'm going to copy that, and where it says storage method, I'm going to change that to for, from H2 to uh, MariaDB. 
which I just copied. If I scroll down a little bit more, it's asking me for what I should put in the address, the database, the username and the password. So I'm going to head over to the other tab. Now to get here, you want to, on the left side of your screen, you want to go to where it says databases and it will bring you to this page. I'm going to click new database. I'm going to put, well, your DB for testing. Click create database. It should create a database looking like this. Uh, I'm going to click this little I think to show me all of the database connection details. I'm going to head to username. I'm going to change the username here. The password. Put the password in. Database. This one here should be the database. Endpoint is that. Go to remove the port, and I'm going to click save. So your database configuration file should look something similar to this. If this doesn't work, like this address, you can always try the local IP. Um, but first you have to find out which node you're on. So I've clicked save content. I'm going to do it again just to be sure. I'm going to head over to console and to find out what node you're on, you look on the right side of your screen and it will say node. I'm currently on Finland 1, which is FI1. So in the Discord we should have a channel called general and in that channel, if you check pins, it will have a pinned information of what the local IP is for Finland 1 and the other nodes that we have. But um, yeah, so we've now configured luck perms to look for the Finland 1 database. So I'm going to click start. It's going to spin up the server like normal. Uh, it may pause for a little minute when it gets to the luck perms. So it's going to say it's loading the storage provider, it's started, and because it couldn't connect to it within the first five seconds, it's going to throw a little warning. Like failed to uh, like initialize the storage implementation. But if we scroll down, you see it's loading the internal permission managers. Then eventually, after what's that, 16 seconds, it loaded the database and it has successfully started the Minecraft server. So just to be sure, if I do LP in the chat, it's now running the LuckPerms plugin. If I do LP help, you can see it's loading the plugin like normal. And if I was to do LP editor, Have a look. It's still timing out after five seconds. Now, because, like I said earlier, this is a development network, sometimes these issues do come up. And unfortunately, I'm not made of money. <laughs> I cannot uh, constantly be getting all of this super fast database hardware and all this other stuff because it is actually very expensive. So unfortunately, the workaround we have currently is we stop the server, we go into files, we go into plugins, go to the LuckPerms folder, go to config YML, and when it loads, we change the connection timeout. I'm going to set this to 30 seconds. Now this isn't the best solution, but it is a solution for the problem that I'm currently facing. So I'm going to click start once I've just changed the uh, timeout. So as you can see, it's trying to start back up again. So loaded the storage provider, starting, the start is completed. It 
it will probably end up timing out by the looks of it. But that is due to the sheer volume of people we have trying to connect to this one database. Or this one database server, should I say. Yeah, um, this is basically how you would configure a luck perms or any other service that wants to try and hook into our database uh, server. Unfortunately, it's not that fast, which is why we try and recommend using SQL Lite uh, just for the time being until we uh, get a handle on the situation with our database servers. Um, I am looking into getting our own independent database server off-site somewhere where we uh, don't have to worry about these sort of problems. Like 90 seconds is ridiculous. It shouldn't take that long. Um, but yeah, with that said, this is how to configure a SQL database. Sorry, MySQL database or MariaDB database. And um, yeah, I wish you luck for your projects.